Hi, it's Kerry. I'm showing you some of my jumbo sea animals today. There's lots to look at. Subscribe and give a thumbs up if you like sea animals. Can you tell me how many legs there are on a crab? There's two fun endings today. There'll be a battle between orca and great white shark. And then I think we've got a tsunami on the way. The clown trigger fish. It has very strong jaws and broad teeth for crunching through hard shelled invertebrates like sea urchins, crustaceans and mollusks. With its bright colours, it looks like it's wearing clown makeup. Triggerfish are named after the spines on their back. Few species are known to eat the clown triggerfish. I wonder why. Clown triggerfish are territorial. The males defend their territory, and once the females arrive, the males actively court them, and the females get to choose a male. my diver Kevin. He's got a really nice wetsuit on there and you can see his oxygen bottle on his back. He's fully equipped with lots of details. Let's have a look at those flippers. Ready for action. And he's even got a waterproof watch on there. Kevin's favourite sea animals are sharks. Off he goes. shrimp or prawn. Shrimps are curved creatures with lots of legs and antennae. They are grey or almost transparent in colour. Larger shrimps are called prawns in some regions. In Australia here we call them prawns. They feed on plankton. Shrimps are able to rapidly dart backwards by flexing their body. They do this to escape predators. Jellyfish. Jellyfish use their tentacles to sting. Most are harmless to humans, but stings from the transparent box jellyfish can be very painful and sometimes kill. They are shaped like an umbrella and can be brightly coloured or translucent. The Sally Lightfoot Crab from the Galapagos Islands. It's also known as the Red Rock Crab. It is also found along the western coast of South America and the entire coast of Central America and Mexico and nearby islands. Sally Lightfoot Crab is a typically shaped crab with five pairs of legs, the front two bearing small blocky symmetrical pincers, the other legs are broad and flat. The crab's round flat shell or carapace it's just over 8 to 12 centimetres, which is 3 to 5 inches in length. They are rather flat and low to the ground. They feed on algae, plant matter and dead animals. It is a quick moving and agile crab and hard to catch, but not considered very edible by humans. It is mainly used as bait by fishermen. The flying fish this is such an amazing fish. They can be seen jumping out of warm ocean waters worldwide. Their streamlined torpedo shape helps them gather enough underwater speed to break through the surface and their large wing-like pectoral fins get them airborne. Giant Australian cuttlefish. 
is the world's largest cuttlefish and like many other cephalopods it is able to camouflage itself exceptionally well. It is an expert at colour change. They can change their colour in an instant and by raising parts of their skin they can also change shape and texture to imitate rock, sand or seaweed. These displays have various interpretations to other marine creatures and may be used for camouflage, mating or even to attract prey. The blue spotted stingray. It is a beautiful stingray with iridescent blue spots on the top part of its body. The spots are a warning sign to other sea creatures, warning that it is poisonous. Its yellowish green colour helps camouflage and you can see my other one here too. It can grow up to 28 inches long, including the blue striped tail which has one or two venomous spines. Its yellow eyes have an excellent field of vision. The holes above the eyes are called spiracles and they're used for breathing. The snout is rounded and the mouth and gills are on the underside of the body. The mouth has two plates that can crush crab shells, prawns and mollusks. The hermit crab, such a resourceful crab. They are omnivores and eat pretty much anything they can find in the surrounding water. The hermit crab has a soft underbody which it protects by carrying a shell on its back. Its shell belongs to another animal. As hermit crabs grow, they continue to find larger shells to live in. It is a fairly small sized crustacean and found mainly in coastal waters where there is more food and places to hide. Weedy sea dragon. I find it really interesting that the sea dragon males are responsible for childbearing. The female deposits their bright pink eggs during mating. The eggs are fertilized during the transfer from the female to the male. The male incubates the eggs and carries them to term, releasing miniature sea dragons into the water after about four to six weeks. I like the way they blend in with the seaweed and kelp where they live. They are closely related to seahorses and pipefish. They have very long thin snouts, slender trunks covered in bony rings and thin tails. To propel themselves and steer themselves, they use those small transparent dorsal and pectoral fins. Although they do like to tumble and drift along in the current like seaweed. The clownfish is so remarkable. It coexists with the sea anemone, which has poisonous tentacles. The clownfish keeps the anemone clean and is also protected from predators by the poisonous tentacles. The clownfish itself is protected from the lethal sting with a layer of mucus on the clownfish's skin. Clownfish are found in warm waters of the Indian and Pacific Oceans, including the Red Sea and of course the Great Barrow Reef of Australia. The largemouth bass is a freshwater lakes and rivers fish. It likes quiet and clear water that can survive in other habitats. Have a look at that mouth. It generally hides under cover below logs or bridges, rocky ledges, and anything that will help protect and conceal it. It's an olive green fish, marked by a series of dark, sometimes black blotches, forming a jagged horizontal stripe along each side. The largemouth is the largest of all the black basses. The largest one measured an overall length of 29 and a half inches, which is 75 centimeters. The 
stalker or killer whale. They will even attack other whales, including the enormous blue whale, which can measure over three times their size. They have also been known to breach the surface to grab sea lions and seals off of rocks and even partially jumping into ice flows to reach their target. Most sharks become motionless when they are flipped over. This phenomenon is called tonic immobility and great whites may experience it also. Orcas use this technique to defeat great white sharks. They keep the shark flipped over until it stops breathing. There's going to be a battle later on and that's what this killer whale is going to try to do. The Great White Shark. I really like this model. It's made by Funko. You can actually pop a fish in the mouth and it will swallow it and then you can shake it out again. Great whites are good hunters because they have an excellent sense of smell, hearing and sight. They also have electroreceptors which detect electric fields in the water to locate prey. Great white sharks can be found in coastal surface waters in every major ocean. They can swim in water that's only three feet deep. The great white shark is an apex predator. It only has a few threats in the ocean. Only orcas or larger great white sharks can pose a risk to it. And now my toys are going to fight. Remember they're only toys. watching my video. It really helps if you can share my videos on any of the other social media sites that you like to visit. See you again soon.